why special needs kids? Because where are you from? Your and so I was always felt like the outsider. So when I had an opportunity to teach kids who were left alone, who were not necessarily taken in, I felt like one of them. Mm -hmm. And I felt that connection. And then after a while, you kind of stop looking at the diagnosis. You kind of stop looking at the disability. And you're like, this is just a person, a child who wants to learn. And in doing that, I found a connection to the whole community because it's like you said, it's very easy for you to teach. I shouldn't say easy. It's it's the opportunity to teach typical children and to work with the typical community is is what you can walk out the door and find any job to do that. Mm -hmm. But to work with a community that's been um, left, you know, mm -hmm. disadvantaged and have, have, have pushed aside, and then to bring something out of them, you just feel like you're doing more in life than just than just working. Mm -hmm. You feel like you're actually changing. And and to make it a little bit more deeper, I feel as if in giving my life and giving my time to kids and people who. Otherwise, people I've left behind, I'm actually making something of my my life a little bit bigger, mm -hmm. and really, you know, answering to a call that not many people were, were asked of. And you could either look at it like, "Why was I put in this position?" or you can look at it as, "Thank God I was put in this position. How can I rise up to it?" Mm -hmm. But <laughs> they're better athletes than most of our typical children. Yeah, our special needs kids who can swim, they are tearing it up they are phenomenal and after a point it's a lot easier to teach them because they just want more and more mm -hmm. and more and they just suck it up like a sponge and and I, I love seeing it i love seeing their their excitement that's they accomplish things that they didn't even think things that i didn't even think i could do you know they're doing incredibly well yeah the name reach people ask me where it comes from and it comes from a strong a song by gloria stefan um, she did it for the Special Olympics, oh, excuse me, for the, for the typical Olympics in 1996, I believe. She comes up to me one day and she had the Gloria Stefan CD with her and she said, I haven't seen you smile in a while, but the other day when you saw that video, you were really smiling, so I got you the CD. Back Aww. in the day when you can get CDs, <laughs> I got you the CD, so whenever you are down, just listen to this. And so it was the reach. It was, and the title of the CD is called Destiny. And I've always listened to it. Oh my and I've gosh. always loved that. And when. Entre comadres.